Today, I'm going to be building the best setup for £500. So the first thing I obviously need is a monitor, and for that, I've also got a monitor mount. This just makes it look so much cleaner on the desk instead of using a really bulky monitor stand. This mount just makes it look a lot tidier. It also gives it like a floating effect, which looks really, really good. So then obviously to go on the mount, we have the actual monitor. Now this monitor is 240 hertz. It's also 27 inches and it's from Acer. Now the reason I'm using this one is because it was only 150 pounds, which is actually cheaper than the 144 hertz monitor I've got. It makes no sense, I know. So then to actually power the setup itself, this is a very obvious one. It's an Xbox Series S. This thing is perfect for the price. It can obviously run so many games at 120 FPS. It can also go on the internet, which is a huge plus for it because you could do schoolwork. You can obviously visit any website you want. It is honestly perfect for the price. It's only £250 and for that price, it is going to outperform any PC at that price range. So next for the peripherals, what I've gone with is this mouse pad here. Now this mouse pad is from Temu. It was literally £11 and for that price, it's actually really good. It's 90 by 40 centimeters and it's a white topo design. Now the print quality on this thing is definitely not the best. It, the grip on it is also, again, not the best and it is not the most thick mouse pad in the world. However, for £11, it does the job perfectly. So then to go on the mouse pad, firstly, we've got this mouse, which is the Logitech G403 Hero. I've had this mouse for years. It was actually the first like good mouse I bought in a way. It's around £40 and it weighs, I think, around 87 grams. However, I'm not too sure about that. But for the price, it is definitely going to perform really good. And then to go with that, we've got the GK61. This is probably the most expensive part of the setup but I don't really have like a budget keyboard I could use for about £30. So this will have to do. It is definitely still a budget keyboard. However, it's just on the pricier side of being budget. It's got red switches. Sounds pretty good. And I've also got some custom keycaps on it, but you don't, obviously you don't need custom keycaps. And then as well as that, we've got this headset. Now, this headset was about £100. However, I would have used a much cheaper one if I had one. I would have at least used Apple earphones if I had them. But yeah, I don't have any other headsets. So this will just have to do for this video. So here we are on the Xbox. And firstly, I'll go to Microsoft Edge. So as you can see, Microsoft Edge works perfectly. It works exactly as it would on a PC. You can go on any website. You can do anything on it. But now I'm going to use it for what we've really bought it for, which is gaming. I jump it into Fortnite. Obviously, we get 120 FPS with this monitor. And honestly, the Xbox Series S, the performance for the price is so good. You get a stable 120 FPS, even in game as well, not just in creative. The input delay is definitely a bit more noticeable than PC when connected to keyboard and mouse, especially. However, to think it's a console, it's actually not as bad as you'd think. And if you did just use a console and never a PC, then you wouldn't even notice it. But if you're just buying the Xbox and you don't have a PC, then you will not feel this input delay at all. And yeah, as you can see, like I can build perfectly on it, even with peripherals I'm not really used to, or especially the mouse. So that's it for the setup. Honestly, I think for the price, this is probably one of the best setups you can get. For around £500, the performance and the looks of this setup are really, really good. 